Welcome! In this video I will try to show you one possibility to model the upgas grimmer, at least the main part, with surfaces in SOLIDWORKS. Let's start with a sketch on this plane. I need a circle with a diameter of 160 and I need some relations. This point and that point should be aligned vertical and this point and that circle should be coincident. Yes. Then I need a line This should be for construction only, this one as well. Now I could trim and then I need another line which goes right up here. And I need a dimension. This should be 100 sketch is fully defined and I can leave the sketch. Okay, then I need another sketch on that plane and this should be This goes this way, so that goes the other way around, okay. This should start here, go straight up and right over there. Then I need a fillet with radius 50, that's okay. And some dimensions. This should be 100 and from here to this one it should be 55 and leave the sketch. Now these two curves should be combined somehow. That's possible. Should be somewhere here. Use project curve and sketch on sketch. And let's do this sketch and that sketch and OK. So now I got this combined curve. I could hide, sketch 7 and the sketch as well. So now I've got this 3D curve. Now I want to do a sweep, which means the radius is to be constant. I will do another video with uh, changing radius. So I need another sketch on. Let's take a look on that plane. This should be a circle and the radius should be, or the diameter should be, 50. I could leave the sketch. Now I can make a sweep. Go for a swept surface. And sketch 8 is selected. And the path should be this sketch. Make sure it 
it follows the path. Path alignment type is minimum twist. Merge tangent faces. Guide curves, there are no guide curves. And start and end tangent J, it's path tangent. it none and none and take a look this looks nice okay now let's make a pattern go to features make a linear pattern and therefore I need a direction therefore I need an axis okay so I got no axis. I will have to make one. So I need an axis, and this should be that plane intersected with this plane. And okay. use this axis for my pattern. Direction is this one. Distance is 82 and I need three of these and I want to pattern the whole body or the feature. In this case it's the same. And okay. Now I want to extend this edge along this direction with 269 millimeters linear and confirm. Now I have to trim. So first I will hide this body so I can select the faces which I want to remove via trim. Now go to trim surface, make sure this option is not grayed. Go for mutual, go to keep selections or remove selections, but make sure that you're in this area. Select this surface and that surface. Then go to remove selections Make sure this is natural and then you can remove this face and yeah it's a little bit hard. It should be this face and confirm. Let's make a cut view. Yes. Okay, now let's show this one again. First, hide all and then show. Now go to trim again. Make sure this is active. Select now the surface trim, the complete one, and this body. And now, as before, go to this area and select this face and the upper face and confirm. Now let's take a look. Yes. And now I want to thicken this surface trim. So I go for insert boss space, thicken. I want to thicken the surface on the inside with two millimeters and confirm. Okay, nice. Just make another cut view. Yes. So please note the sweep leads to 
a diameter of 50 right here and I want to have this pipes from 50 down to 40 diameter so I will show this in another video hope you enjoyed this one bye